up guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Water. Welcome back to another transfer video on the channel. You're probably wondering, Ollie, where are you? I'm in my front room, okay? My house is getting its boiler done, so the house is an absolute tip. Okay, the only place that actually looks okay is my living room. I've leased it out a bit with a couple of shirts behind me, the new shirt on me, and I'm here to give you your transfer news. Before we get into this video, guys, be sure to subscribe down below. We are close to 3,200 subscribers. Also, smash that like, okay? Let's try and smash 100 likes on this video. We're doing it constantly at the moment. Let's keep it up. 100 likes on this video and comment where you are watching from. Are you from Leeds? Ipswich, Botswana, I want to know, leave it in the comments down below. Let's get into some Leeds United transfer news. So first up we are talking Lewis O'Brien, a 7 million bid is looking to be put in place for the Huddersfield midfielder. It was reported we placed the first bid of 2 to 3 million pounds for the English midfielder, Huddersfield told us to scram, and we've now put in a seven million bid for the Huddersfield midfielder. I believe Huddersfield do want around eight to ten million. Why are we playing such hardball for him? Apparently, it is plus add-on, so it could rise up to around ten million pounds. He did feature in Huddersfield's one 0 win against Preston last night. But that could have been a farewell match for him at Huddersfield. Do I think this signing will happen? I actually do. I'm quite a big fan of Lewis O'Brien. I do believe he will be in a Leeds United shirt come the end of the transfer window. But it is just a matter of time getting all the nitty gritty bits done. I do believe Leeds United will go in for Lewis O'Brien. I think the 7 million bid will be enough to push Huddersfield over the mark so we can have that play into the squad. Is he a first team signing? That is what everyone is discussing. That's what everyone has their opinion on. Will he go straight into the first team? I'm unsure of that. I would kind of like to see O'Brien and Dallas. You know, that could be good in the midfield. I don't think he'll be first team straight away. But a couple of sessions under BLC, you do know he could be... He could, seven million, you're paying for a player and he's, he's not just going to be sitting on the bench. I think we are going to see some first team football for Lewis O'Brien. This move though is far from done. Obviously him playing for Huddersfield last night confirms that no bid has been accepted, but everyone is saying that could have been his fair well match but the games in the championship come thick and fast he could play on saturday then next tuesday and still be our player so don't read too much into him playing for huddersfield i believe i'm personally quite confident that lewis o'brien will be a Leeds united player and the deal is very close next up we are going to be talking about tottenham hotspurs and their interest in Leeds United's target man, Patrick Bamford. Patrick Bamford only has this season left on his contract, but it does look like he is disinterested in the Spurs move and Leeds are looking to give him a fresh, new long-term contract at the club. I believe this news has came out of the fact that Harry Kane will leave Spurs. And is Patrick Bamford the answer to Harry Kane? Would he be a backup striker? Apparently they want him to help boost their attack, bolster their attack to push for maybe a Champions League place. I don't believe Patrick Bamford will go. I think this is not necessarily a nothing story. I just think the player is disinterested in this transfer, I believe, under Bielsa at Leeds United. It's definitely where Bamford will flourish, become a better player. Obviously, he got 18 goals last season. Can he do that again this season? I'm unsure. I think he'll get there or thereabouts, maybe a bit less. But I think a move to Spurs... Wouldn't necessarily be a downgrade as in club-wise. I think it'll be a downgrade in his career. He's finally got the number nine spot in a club. Would he get it at Spurs eight week in, week out? I don't believe he would. I believe he will stay at Leeds United. My question of the day for you guys is how much is Patrick Bamford worth in this current market? I did put this out on Twitter, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. Is it 30, 40, 50 million? Obviously, Ben White is a 50 million player. Is Patrick Bamford more? 70, 80 million? Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below how much is Patrick Bamford worth in this current market. Next up, we are talking about Ian Paveda. Ian Paveda featured 14 times off the bench for Leeds United last season in the Premier League. But a few weeks back, he did get downgraded into the under-23s. And when the under-23s played the other night, he was not in the squad at all. Reports are suggesting there has been a fallout between Bielsa and Perveda. This does shock me as Perveda was working very hard prior to pre-season. You know, he gained a bit of weight. He looked good. He looked muscly. He looked ready for the new season. But obviously something has gone on behind the scenes. I thought that straight away when he wasn't in the match day squad for quite a lot of pre-season games and also for the starting game against Manchester United. He wasn't to be seen at all. And then when he wasn't in the under-23s, 
I did have my speculations that something did go on between him and Marcelo Bielsa. It isn't 100% that Perveda and Bielsa did have a falling out. I don't think we'll ever know. The club will never come out and say it. I don't think reporters close to the club, like your Adam Pope, your Phil Hay, will ever say that. But it doesn't look brilliant. I thought Bielsa really liked Perveda and was using him. Obviously, used him 14 times last season off the bench. He's quite a good impact sub. I would have him on the bench. But now Somerville's there. I think Somerville's better than Costa and Perveda. But I still would have Perveda there. It now looks like the uh, the youngster Ian Perveda will be put out on loan. If not, definitely a permanent transfer. That could be crazy. I would like to see him go out on loan. If it is a bit of a falling out, maybe go out on loan for another team and then come back. It might not be anything to do with Bielsa. It might just be he's going out on loan so he hasn't been in the squad. But reports are that there has been a bit of a bust up behind the scenes between Perveda and Bielsa. And a couple of transfers on the side. It looks like Robbie Gotts might be on his way out of Leeds United on a permanent deal going to Stockport or Oldham. Oldham want him as well. I believe Salford are on the cards. Also, Niall Huggins has gained massive interest from Sunderland, I believe Blackpool as well. The left back looks like, again, will be going on a permanent deal. I think the under-23s that we see right now is the team that Bielsa likes. You know, the Summerfields, Cody Drama, uh, Joe Geldhart, Sam Greenwood. Uh, players like that, I think the likes of Robbie Gotts, Niall Huggins and stuff, have had their time at Leeds United. And I believe they will be going on a permanent move. Uh, moves like that will get closer to the transfer window. They will be completed. I do believe Noel Huggins is in advanced talks with Sunderland. That'll be a good move for him. He's a very good left back. I've seen him play a few times for the under 23s. And also he has played a couple of first team games in the cup. He looks decent. Sunderland have got a good player on their hands. And the last little bit of Leeds United news I do want to talk to you guys about is the Manchester United game. My little thoughts about it. I wasn't impressed, okay? I really wasn't. I think you can look, it is the first game of the season. Obviously, I did believe we got absolutely outplayed all over the park. I spoke to a couple of Manchester United fans, and they believe that we actually bossed the midfield. I think Click and Dallas couldn't have had a worse game, personally. And he, and even Rodrigo, when he was in there, Bamford, I don't think he'd done too much. I think the only player can maybe hold his head up high is maybe Pascal Struve, but he was fault for the Mason Greenwood goal. I can't tell you... I was just disappointed, really. I mean, results, I didn't go into it thinking we're going to smash them. I didn't even think we're going to win. I did in my video because I got I put myself under a bit of pressure. But going into it, I didn't think we're going to win. Okay, I thought maybe the result was going to be like a, they were going to win. But I thought maybe the performance would be better. We could go out with our heads held high. But I don't even believe we could have done that this game. We do need to turn it around against Everton this Saturday. Ellen Road will be packed. There'll be noise. And let's just hope we can get the three points or just a better performance, maybe even a point. But yeah, we definitely do need a good performance in front of Ellen Road. Because if not, the locals will not be happy, I tell you. They will not. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this little transfer news video. Lewis O'Brien looks like he will be a Leeds United player very soon. Also looks like Bamford was going to stay. And maybe a clash of Bielsa and Perveda behind the scenes. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like. Let's try and smash 100 likes on this video. Subscribe if you are new and comment where you are watching this and also how much is Bamford in this current market? Let me know in the comments down below. It's going to be hard to do a stream or a vlog for the Everton game on Saturday as it isn't shown on TV at all, but I'm sure I will get out some sort of match reaction after the game, so be sure to, to, to watch that when that drops. And let's just hope for a better performance than we saw last Saturday, this Saturday at Ellen Road versus Everton. I've been Ollie Ward, you guys have been excellent, and I'll catch you next time. Cheery! Oh. Listen.